Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's me, Can't Stop a uh, Money, and we are back inside the Hyper Photo Creation Chamber. And this is uh, another addition to Steins Gate. Yes, it's Steins Gate, episodes 5 and 6. Yes, today we'll be having another two episodes in one video today. Alright, guys, we're rolling along with it. So, when we last left off, we have officially acquired the IBM 5100. Yes, the computer that, uh, that Rintero and uh, Curry 2 were looking for, you know, for the, the, to, Continue their research, their research to hack into uh CERN, you know, to hack into CERN to decode their code talk right there. Now only only that computer can do it. So yeah, they they got it thanks to Ruka and her his dad almost said her. <laughs> so yeah, thanks to them that came in clutch with it. They have the IBM fifty one hundred. Now they're just trying to haul it haul it across town and you know, back home. <laughs> I love the relationship between between uh, Rintaro and uh and Chris. You know they 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 butt heads. They don't hate each other, but they just they just butt heads and it's just nice bond, nice bond between the two. So yeah, I can't wait to see what happens next, guys. Uh, before we get into this, there is one thing I wanted to address for people that were wondering because I uh, I wasn't going to address it at first, but you know some of y'all were wondering in the comment section. Uh, so I said I just go ahead and let you let y'all know why. So yeah, it's the whole sub and dub thing. Some of y'all were wondering why did I choose dub for this show. Uh, honestly, I just, uh, for dub for this show, I honestly, I honestly, before getting into it, I honestly felt like that was, that would be the right choice for me for this. Uh, so yeah, of every episode that I watch for you guys right here, right, right, right now, afterwards when I'm done recording, I'll go and, uh, watch it in sub. Not comparing the contrast, but just to hear it in sub. And honestly, after hearing, just hearing both of them, I honestly would prefer for myself, uh, dub for the show, for the show. Uh, cause it may, it's pretty funny. They make you laugh. Uh, it gets me more immersed into the dialogue, the Steins Gate dialogue, cause the Steins Gate dialogue is quite different from uh different dialogue that I've heard from other shows. That uh, but yeah, I I like it in dub a lot. It's really enjoyable. And y'all know me. I have no personal preference between sub and dub. If I feel like watching something in dub, I watch it in dub. If I feel like watching the sub, I watch it in sub. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um. I just really like the dub footage for the show. And honestly, that should be all that matters. Uh, the only thing that should matter is for, especially for you long time Steins Gate people out, y'all lovely people out there, it's the fact that I'm really enjoying the show. And I really am enjoying the show despite any type of language that I'm watching it in. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, y'all already know the uncut reaction will be in the description below, so let's go ahead and do this. Thank y'all for rocking with me despite, the, uh, despite whatever dub cast I choose. Uh, without further ado, the video will be played right here in this corner. This is Steins Gate episodes 5 and 6 right now. Because you look like you're about to up and die every couple of feet. Don't be naive. <laughs> weakness. What, we weren't conspicuous it's not his anything. forte. What's, What's in the box? <laughs> Dying to know. Green Tunnel. I'd be sworn to secrecy most days, refusing to divulge its contents even under threat of torture, but... My arms are on fire! Can't you tell her what it is <laughs> now? <laughs> Fine, do it now, but would you please just skip ahead to the good part? Back it down. Fate guided my footsteps to Yanabayashi's shrine, where it languished amid the dusty offerings of yesteryear. Fate's gonna crush your footsteps if we don't hurry up. Look, you see, curse you. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh. Who is this person? Oh, uh, Amane knows her? She's Mr. Bronze. Oh, shit. Time well, what's up with the stands? Did I miss something? <laughs> Don't go to the opener. Don't go to the opener. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, let me see some hustle. We're closing up here. <laughs> oh, what's up with the sudden guard, if though? This could kill. I'd be a goner. Well, you do have a right dastardly face. Huh? <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Starmine Rondo. Dara, your t shirt is so big. It's like the sail from a pirate ship. <laughs> made from a big polar bear. Ayushi is frolicking on my ship. She is so cute. She's getting her adorable all over it. Steady now. Okay. Hey, right, that's the otaku. You mean. You've actually used this shower to bathe yourself? Yeah, every once in a while. Uh, you have to promise me you'll never shower here again, Mayuri. Don't make She's me say that. <laughs> I should buy you some pepper spray. Why do you hang out with these weirdos anyhow? Come on, Is it blackmail Kisu. or coercion or brainwashing or what? Nothing like that. It's just I'm Okarine's hostage. Oh, God. <sighs> 
That's it. I'm calling the cops. Wait. She just said she's your hostage. You two are going down. No, Sam. It's not like that. I wanted to be, and so far it's super fun. You'll see. I'm sorry. I'm the one who should apologize for before. Did my assistant offend you in some way? Mm -mm. Just met her. Did she glare at you, perchance, or scoff? She packs a wicked scoff. Neither <gasps> one. She hasn't done anything. What then? She hasn't done anything yet, but I yet. promise you, she will. Oh, Just what do you know? She's bad for your health. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you know? Eric, get down! Follow yonder road down to the river, and you should get a fair enough view. Awesome. Where does she, where does she come from? I'll message you. Just give me your email. That coat is a pledge, a symbol that you are a friend to science. Stop! Uh, I keep telling Daru and Mayuri to wear one, but they don't get it. But not you. You understand. Ergo, I want you to jam your hands into your coat pockets. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Woman. Oh yeah, like that. Like this. Perfect. Our oh, look at you. Lucky few who know the privilege and burden of having dedicated their life to research. Oh, that's clean. Every time you wear it, marvel anew at my generosity. <laughs> All I'm going to marvel at is your stupidity. <laughs> oh, she's hungry. Just because you call me assistant, it doesn't mean that I'm going to call you boss man or anything. Listen! <laughs> For the last time, Christina, my name is Hoeing. I thank you to remember it. Hoeing. Henceforth, you will call me Hoeing. Or if that's too hard, Hoeing. Kioma is also acceptable. Oh. Hmm? Are you crying down there? What's there to cry about? Just because some maniac jumped out of his chair and started screaming at me about his damn fake name and scared me half to death? No, that's totally fine. No problem. PTSD, oh, PTSD for uh, her dad. Why is this? Think about what she told you in that big breathless rant. It's alive. <laughs> it's oh, you alive! It? You got it to work? Hashida Daru for another win. Does any of it look helpful? I haven't messed around boy? yet. But hey, this thing's a Z program. So that file was created back in 1973? Looks like. CERN, when was it founded? In the 50s. 54, I think. And this machine first came on the market in... Ooh, me. 1975. Did CERN Damn. actually smuggle a whole programming language into the 5100s just to further their covert time travel plan? That seems like a bit of a stretch. <laughs> it says this thing requires a lifter and the presence of a black hole. Keep on reading. Program phase number three is some kind of animal testing. And program phase number four is... <gasps> Say it. Phase number four. Human testing. Which brings us right up to human is dead mismatch. No. That's what they meant that by that. We first hacked our way in. What did the part after that say again? More details to follow in Jelly Man's report. Report number ten. Subject James McCarthy. Birthplace America. Z program four. Experiment date twenty eight January two thousand five. Result. Human is dead. Mismatch. Not that again. We believe the subject was unable to withstand the supergravitationally induced compression or survive transmission through the Kerr black hole. And an article? Oh my god, look at the date. April 3rd, 1921. 1921? Look, the corpse of a man was found half emerged from the wall of a building on 14th Avenue. The state of the corpse has defied all explanation as the soft tissue has turned into gelatinous. Oh, shit. Just like the fucking banana. The gelatinous body of a woman was found on the roadside in the Indian city of Dharmapuri. The woman's Ew. lower legs were destroyed, most likely by the tires of a passing car. Another. Report number seven. Subject, Michael Lang. Birthplace, oh, German. Shit. Z program four. Result, human is dead. Mismatch. All Could these different people. Even here? May 24th, 1936. Gelatinized body found at the foot of Kyoto's Mount Hiei. And there are 14 of these? Want to see another? I've seen quite enough. It's like trying to squeeze the sponge into my clenched hand. You see? The insides get wrung out. So basically, it's a really tight fit? Yeah, you're squeezing into something extraordinarily narrow. 
You're making time travel sound pretty freaky. Huh? What's wrong with squeezing into... Uh, Taru, you're such a pervert! Says the girl talking about squeezing things into tight spaces. Yeah, I meant a black hole. That's still not better. <laughs> we have future gadget numero eight, the phone wave real name TBA, do we not? We will build a time machine first, and CERN will come to nothing because we will rule the world instead! <laughs> oh my! Why did I even bother to ask? Mad scientist. That's my boy. <laughs> Let's move on to the next episode, guys. It's awesome! This like your first beef bowl? Yep. And I gotta say, the hype doesn't do him justice. Hmm. Yes, well, you really ought to try it with raw eggs sometime. That is, of course, once you've mastered this unwarrior-like phobia of eating out alone. Uh, Another crack an egg yet? Not helpful. Continue to mock me and my rash shall Please, hammer down you get upon- sidetracked thinking of a name for a <laughs> screwdriver. Excuse me! Prepare to eat your words, naysayer. I've already plucked a name for the facts in question. Is it from thin air? We shall call it- Oh, yeah. Yoma's Nostalgia Drive! Kiyoma's Nostalgia Drive. Why are we arguing when it should clearly be the male that leapt through time? Because we're not entering it into a film festival. Now you're just being a- Hey, it sounds fire. my idea doesn't make you want to order a bucket of chicken wings. Balance, man. We need <laughs> to decision. Then I'll squish it to Time Leaper. Except that now we don't there know what's sleeping, do we? Maybe we could work Banana in there somewhere. Oh, can you imagine our- Banana Goku? Time <laughs> Leaper? Ha! Just wait till you get a load of this one. We call it Flux Mail Capacitor. Are we implying that it runs on plutonium now? I'd suggest we shorten it to D-mail. <laughs> D-mail. Oh, that's a good one. Great, we can move on, finally. The first D-mail made its apparent leap backward between noon and one o'clock, the second at approximately six in the evening. Thus, if we conduct our experiments so that the same windows are observed, success is a strong likelihood. Dude, if it were that easy, you think we'd be the ones to discover it? If you can do better, I'm all ears. Mayori, banana me. We're running kind of low on the test subjects. We could just use something <laughs> else, couldn't we? Maybe a cucumber. <laughs> Ack, this is hard to <laughs> time. No, the effect <laughs> on bananas classifies as unknowns. All right, here we go, guys. The experiment. Now. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> Oh, he is a mad scientist. Is where? Uh, it's a Jill Nana. It worked. Whoa. There it is. <laughs> Just as I hypothesized, time of day is an essential component in how the D-mail system works. I am a genius. Nice job, Okabe. And another one? Mm -mm. Just the one. Interesting. It's been split up. Airhead? I'm not familiar with this vernacular. <sighs> In America, it's a compliment. <laughs> you know, yeah, now that I think right. about it, your D-mail to me the other day was all broken up, too. Part of it was yeah, cut yeah. off, as a matter of fact. And, of course, it popped up five days earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Makes you think about that stuff. Oh my God. I was so excited about our success, I neglected to weigh the reality of what we've uncovered here. Y'all have that in y'all's in in laboratory. Why on earth did I tell her? Oh, okay. check it! You party people bring in the ruckus or what? In a manner of speaking, our researchers will indeed bring Like the way how she talks? Yeah, that's real crunk and all. Everything. Right? Crunk? Oh, bald cap is seriously pissed off at you guys. So the vibrations from your floor are giving him migraines. You want your rent to give you a damn migraine? I can't do the voice, but you get it. Damn it all. Well, the one person can do that voice. Hack, run upstairs and tell the girls to suspend all experimentation. I'll try and sweet talk the cur. Roger, I'm on top of it. Good luck not getting evicted. I've calculated that one second on the timer equals an hour in reality, moving upstream to the flow of linear time. That means a minute 30 translates to five days. Pretty balls out she locked on to how to control the distance that text travels back, huh? Indeed. Damn. Being limited that to is true, minute 35 days. Our Achilles heel. I'd like to find a way to improve upon that if at all possible. As it stands now, it's not very practical. Well, that's not such a big deal if you don't have to send anything really large back in time. 
Hey, maybe it's hard because of the whole car black hole thing. I think you mean cur black hole. That's it. A cur black hole is too tight to let big stuff through. Maybe it just needs a little, uh, practice. Will you knock it off? Where am I? <laughs> Having nightmares about it. Don't panic. You're not the one moving. Time and space have switched places here. So this is an event horizon? Space can no longer be moved through. And time as you understand it ceases to exist. One second to you, for me, stretches out past the horizon line of what is real. Oh, well, there she is. <laughs> She's still texting. <laughs> Seriously? I'm right here. She doesn't like to oh, talk, whatever but Whatever it is, just say it. Look, this is getting ridiculous, and it's very early. Wait, is this your idea of hounding yours truly for an exclusive interview or something? Mm, she knows something. <clears throat> Feel free, but beware. Photograph my face and you'll leave me no choice but to silence. <sighs> you expect me to let you borrow it? And help you haul it? What part of look only do you fail to comprehend, my dear? Besides, if you intend to make off with it, you could at least do me the kindness of asking out loud. May I please, uh, borrow it? Ancient Sumerian, you see. Yes, yes. Uh, roughly translated, it means would doo, you care doo, for doo. It? Good morning, Ocarine. Mind That's if what I it heat means. at my chicken tenders before you start your time travel experiments? Morning, everyone. I think I had an aha moment about the time machine last night. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> it's me. Situation critical. F B? F B. Very well. I suppose since the cat's out of the bag. <gasps> I'm loath to do this, however. Kirio Moeka. As of this moment, I christen you lab member 005. Oh yeah, we got 04 and 05. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Those were episodes five and six of Steins Gate. All right, so uh, the main thing why I got up out of this time travel, the time travel exper uh, experiments. So yeah, when they hacked to those files from uh, from CERN, uh, so yeah, those people where it says you know human human uh, report dead. Uh, yeah, so they they've been testing humans. They were testing humans for the time travel, and that's time. That time was all the way back in like early 1900s. Uh, uh, yeah, they were they was testing people back then, and people come back to be. It worked. They actually made it be, uh, either forward or backwards in time, and uh, they pop up green muck. You know, body all body all dead. You know, they're all dead. Uh, green mucky body. You can see that. You can see the skeletons. All that stuff. Yeah, so yeah, their body going through those experiments, those body going through the black holes and everything like that. When they time travel, you know, it fucks with their body. Like like Chris, who was talking about with the whole sponge in her uh, and her and, and, and you know the little hole in her in her hand right there. Yeah, that's how their bodies are, and that is a nightmare. Just seeing that, it, it's like horror right there. Like oh my goodness, like that. Yeah, that's the experiments for for science for time travel. Yeah, that's why. Shit, that's why we ain't got that nowadays. We know they even even nowadays I believe they did experiment like, you know, on rats and stuff like that. You know, like little rats and everything, and rats come back disproportional and, 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 and just just like they inside out. Which is why we don't have no teleport or anything like that. So yeah, that's crazy. That really is crazy. And that's what and it's crazy. That's that's what to to think, that's what Kyoma has on his hands right now with the microwave. You know, I like I like calling him Kioma. Then then around I turn around and call him Rintaro, and then I call him Okabe. You know, stuff like that. But I like I like Kioma. <laughs> he like being called Kioma. Uh, yeah, that's what that's what that's what they have on their hands though. That's what they have, and uh, yeah, and they test it out. They said what a minute and thirty seconds equals uh, equals five days. That's what Curious had drew up on her board, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, guys, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I hope this is natural. Because, like, I'm really into this story because I want to know more about the story as it goes on. But it's like, the more stuff that happens, the more stuff they throw at you, like, the more new things that they throw at you. Like, for example, like, for, uh, for Amane earlier with Kurisu. How she got her, how she, you know, she, like, she was, like, she was ready to fight. 
and everything like that for some reason. And when they throw that in there on top of what we already have that hasn't been answered yet, it's like, oh, I'm not getting lost, but what? When, when, when they finally start explaining everything, will I be able to get everything kind of thing on my on the first go? That, that's what I, it's a, it, it doesn't worry me at all because I know I will, but damn, man, it's crazy how much their information they're throwing at you within these uh, first few episodes and everything like that. So I can't wait till everything starts making sense. I can just be like, oh my God. So yeah, the thing is about Moika, that's the main thing for that I want to know right now for her. It's like, she's not of that time. And I'll benchmark myself saying that. Um, it's like, the thing she says, she's, she's foreshadowing something with Kirisu later on down the line, talking about she's bad business, even though she doesn't know her, whatever like that. I know she just says she doesn't know her to cover up, but she says she's bad business later on down the line. The way how Moika talks, like she's using, like, I guess you'd say retro words, even for them. You know, they, they, they're looking at it like, huh? <laughs> you know, yeah, stuff like that. So it's like, it makes me seem like, it makes it seem like for me, she's not of this time. Now, the whole thing with Moika. I have no idea. She's really interested in not being 5100. Uh, she said she was taking pictures of things that she hasn't seen or or anything of that of like that. Because Amane was doing the same thing when she was eating a beef bowl. She didn't know what that was. That's her first time tasting one. So, uh, don't know, man. Don't know. It's like, I need these knots to get untied. And I man, I am loving this. And, oh, my God. You know, I get, I, I, I'm, I never get tired of, of, uh, of, of Daru with his, uh, with his dirty mind, with his dirty otaku-minded stuff. It's, you know, it's pretty funny and uh, refreshing when it comes to Kirisu. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much what I got out of these two episodes, guys. Um, and Yeah, I was talking about earlier with waifus. I almost forgot. I said Amane and Kirisu. But I forgot. There is... Ferris, Amane, and Kitty Sue. Forgot about that. Y'all know I love Ferris. Uh, but yeah, and uh, and Mayuri, she oh bless her heart. She's so cute, man. She she's so innocent. <laughs> she she really lightens up the spirit around there. So yeah, guys, that's what that's what I got up out of this, man. And that whole thing, that whole little scene right there with Kiyomo's having that little dream right there, going through a I guess he was going through a black hole, learning about time and. Time and space being two different things, switching places or whatever that whatever that was. I have no idea what they're talking about right there. So yeah, <laughs> hope everything clears up. So yeah, man, that's about it. What y'all thought about that? If you like, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll be sure to see you all in my next one. Sayonara.